All right, so the last tutorial may not have been clear enough, and that's why you're here um, looking at this one. This tutorial is specifically about um, replacing the texture map on this model. Um, by default, it loads with the blue texture map, but let's go ahead and look at the other textures that I'm going that I'm working on adding. Um, so I've added, um, I've created a new one that I've drawn in Clip Studio. Um, so I've colored all these parts brown, including the upper lip and lower lip. All the markings are colored brown. I've added some detailing on the body and the arms. Oh, look, I missed a speck there. I'll have to go in and color that. Um, but this one, I tried to make it look kind of like a werewolf. So what I'm going to do is, you know, by default, it's going to read the textures that are in this folder. So it's only going to read these three textures. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy these versions of it and overwrite the blue versions. Um, obviously, it won't update in VTube Studio Live because VTube Studio, you have to close it and then reload the model. So we're going to close it, reopen it. And now it's going to read these three textures that I put in here. So let's let this bad boy load up. There we go. But oh god, this looks horrible. What the heck? Why do we have this terrible white outline on everything? It looks horrid. What do we do? Um, that's okay. There's a way to fix that. Um, you go to the gear. You go to the model uh, gear. And then you do fix white outlines. It's, it's going to say that you should make sure you have a copy of your textures backed up beforehand. Um, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and let this do its thing. And hopefully that'll take care of all the... Bam, look, see? That took care of all that white... All that ugly white um, outline. Um, so yeah, that's a quick fix, especially for characters with dark designs. Um, you're welcome to edit this texture map that I'm going to include with the model download. Um, feel free to edit it if you want. It's just kind of a rough example um, of some of the detailing you can add. Yeah. So let me... Yeah, see, right now the highlights are red, and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to close VTube Studio. I'm going to go to my texture. Can you come here? In my drawing software. And yes, it looks like I have accidentally colored this. Luckily, I have it as a separate layer. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this. Although I kind of want those to, I want the like the blue edge to be yellow. So I'm just going to like keep this selection, make a new layer, clip it, and I'm going to fill it in with yellow. And I'm going to change this mode to color. There we go. Let's see. I think that's the only change I wanted to make. So I'm going to save over my in my werewolf folder. I'm going to save over this version. I'm going to, once it's saved, let's double check. Yes, the highlight is white now. I'm going to copy. I'm going to overwrite this texture. We're going to replace it. It should be updated now. So now we're going to open VTube Studio again. Oops, I accidentally closed it. Okay, there we go. Okay, the eye highlight is white. Um, and it just, it tends to create this white outline every time. Um, like a, when the PNG is exported from any drawing software, it tends to do this. So you're going to want to go back to this uh, gear up here, and we're going to do fix white outlines again. I think it has to do with the fact that it's rasterized lines. And there we go. I think that looks better. Um, I don't want the eyelashes, so I'm going to create a new expression. And this is going to be... I'm going to name this one werewolf form. And I'm going to... Ooh, you know what we should do? We should make the pupils slitted like that. Although you can't really see it. We can also make the whole eyeball narrow like that. I'll set the pupils in there. And then 
I want to change the tail to use my where my wolf tail. That's the cat tail. That's the fox tail. Where's my wolf tail? Oh, there it is. Okay. And oh, I was going to turn the eyelashes off. So that's going to be under the eye markings. I think it's going to be under the eye functions, eye size, cheek fluff, default hairstyles, eyeball narrow, lash tips off. There we go. There. Now we've taken the eyelashes off, so it looks a little less um, cutesy. And honestly, if we really wanted, we could change the eye shape. We could use the this. And you can even like, you can mix and match them. I use these for expressions, but you can also just set them to a hotkey that's going to change the form of your model. So there we go. Now I'm going to set that as a hotkey. Where we'll form. And I'm going to set it to control B. Because why not? I'm going to make that use the werewolf form. There we go. Control B. And there we go. Now our model looks cool by default. Yeah. So definitely feel free to, uh, you know, tinker color on the texture maps, stuff like that. Um, you can get a lot of cool effects. The face is, it's hard to do like shading, like in this area, just because the face marking will cover it or the mouth will clip over it. So the face designs have to be a little simple, but you can, you, you might be able to get away with doing some up here. Um, yeah, the face is just because of how it has to be layered, which is why I usually I have to make a custom, like fully original model. But this is, this will let you get some basics in enough that you, you know, you can have a, kind of a fun like starter model um yeah that's all i've got for now good luck